Welcome to my Charutera channel. Ayan. So, kumusta na kayo? How are you, everyone? Kung may nanonood man, at sana may nanonood. And I've been busy this past few days, kaka-duty. Tapos, lagi pa ako pupunta ng Cambridge, pero parang tries ko pa lang doon. Visiting my friend. Hi, girl. Kung napalim na to, bruha ka. <laughs> Ayan. So, our topic for today is about paano ba ang working shifts or duty shifts dito sa UK. Lahat ng pag-uusapan natin will be uh, according to my experience. Kasi syempre, uh, may mga ibang practices from special areas, kaya So, I work in a general uh, area, general nursing, so yung mga medical surgical yan usually. So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. May kwento ko lang kasi kanina. Kasi ano nga, um, lagi nga ako nag-duty, so parang ngayon lang ako nakalabas ulit talaga ng sarili ko na parang bago lang. Yung parang nang nangilagay is nung pumunta ako sa grocery kanina. Parang na ingot-ingot ako ng konti kasi nakalimutan ko yung kung paano yung mga ginagawa nga. Kunyari, yung cart kasi, pag kunyari pagkabayad mo kasi, ilangan mong bitbitin yung cart papalabas sa Tesco to ha? Tesco store. So parang ako, nasanay kasi ako diba sa parang naano ako dun sa practice sa Pilipinas na pag may card ka, iiwan mo na lang dun sa labas ng counter. Dito, hindi. So, ayun, nahatawag ako nung ate. <laughs> ayun, nahiya lang ako ng konti kasi sabi ko, oh nga pala, nakalimutan ko ganun nga. Ganyan. Anyway, so much for the walang kwenta commercial. Let's begin our talk and chat and kwentuhan kung ano man ang gusto itawag in 5, 4, 3, 2, First of all, we work 37.5 hours per week, if I'm not mistaken. And since uh, we are in a tier 2 visa, uh, if you want to do bank shifts, you are only allowed to have another 20 hours. So that is like, basta, uh, when I called the bank partners, they told me that we are allowed at least 56 hours, including the, um, including the regular shifts. Tapos, if you want to do bank shifts pa. And then, take note guys na um, you cannot exceed yung sa total number of hours because especially do sa bank shifts kasi magkakaroon ng penalty yun. So, huwag masyadong ngahaman sa pagbabank. <laughs> Enjoy yung inyong offs at, at mamasyal kayo sa UK. UK maraming ina-offer na magandang places ang UK para puntahan nyo. Pero syempre, um, hinay-hinay lang. Kasi syempre, may mga kailangan tayong panagutan, sustentuhan, at kung ano man lang gusto yung itawag na term. Okay? And, advance happy mother's day nga pala sa aking ina. Hindi ko alam kung napapanood niyo to. Nahihiyan na ako maisip na napapanood niyo to. Ayan. Advance happy mother's day sa inyong lahat. Okay. Going back. So, we work 37.5 hours per week. And 56 hours, kung may, basta parang ganun sabi ng bank, bank partners namin dito. Um, yung bank, pag sabi mo kasing bank, um, hindi siya yung parang pumunta ko sa bank ko. Yun yung dating, ano ko dati, uh, dating uh, pagkakaintindi ko pag sinabi yung bank. Bank is yung nag extra duty ka. It's not considered overtime, but you are taking a whole 12 or 8 hour shift sa off mo. You cannot do banks na umabsent ka tas mag-bank ka. No, no, yun. So, pag umabsent ka kasi sa amin, I experience, pag umabsent ka kasi, you are not allowed to book any banks for 14 days until then, na matapos yung 14 days na yun, uh, saka ka lang pwedeng makapag-bank ulit. So, dito, masyado kasing um, binavalue yung work and rest. That's how I understand it. Um, disclaimer lang, lahat ng sasabihin ko dito or share ko sa inyo is all based on my experience. And, and ayun nga, uh, since I work in a general um, area, akit medical, medi, medici, 
acute medical unit. Ayan. Uh, I will just share my experience on that area. Yeah. Banks. Um, every week and then you will get paid every week then. Uh, it depends kung, for example, nag-bank ka ngayon, you will get the salary or you will get paid by, on the following week. So, ganun yung lagay niya. And then, um, in regular, in terms, in, in terms of regular shifts, you work 3 to 4 days a week or that depends sa pagpaplat ng manager nyo. Basta may number of hours lang kasi in a total month na allowed ka sa regular shift. So, it depends kung per week or per month. So, ganun basis siya. Basta 3 to 4 days ka pumapasok in a week. And yung offs, dugtong-dugtong yun. Or pwede siyang hiwaiwalay. Anyway, 12 hours kasi kami mag-work per day. So, if you are working on a day, we call it long day, 12 hours. Pero if you are working like parang 8 hours lang day lang yun. Tapos sa night, hindi long night. Night lang yun. So, usually, shift, shifts here starts at 7 to 7.30 or 8 uh, 7.30 to 8 mga ganon um, we get one or unpaid breaks so kailangan mong kunin yun and pipilitin ka rin nila mag break kasi hindi ka nga bayan ng isang oras na yun pero kasi um, in my case I don't get to really consume yung one hour break kasi parang meron kami 15 minute breaks on, for, on the on morning tapos 30 minute lunch time and then 15 minute afternoon break. So I don't get usually to have the 15 minutes. I just grab the 30 minutes. Kasi nga, I work in a toxic unit. Well, lahat naman ata toxic. But that depends kung paano may gagawin yung time management. Sa amin kasi, uh, since I work in AME, mabilis ang process ng admission, discharge, and transfer. Hindi kami nababakante ng pasyente. Kung meron man, sobrang bihira. And sobrang blessing yun kapag nangyari. So, ayun. And then, if you work uh, on a long day, sobrang busy yun. Kasi, um, washing and feeding, kailangan mo i-assist yung patient. Yeah. Kung sa Pilipinas, morning care is madaling araw or sa night shift, gawa ng night shift. Here, Washing is done sa morning uh, morning shift. So, with the, you have the HCAs assigned with you who will help you with uh, taking care of... I, uh, I handle 5 to 6 patients. Yun yung ratio namin. 1 is to 5, 1 is to 6. Yun na yung maximum namin. I'm not sure kung nag-7 kami. Anyway. So, ayun. Um, pag... Under staff, gagawa na gagawa nila ng paraan yun. Kung may umabsent, maghahawak yung nurse in charge namin. Which is sa Pilipinas, yung charge nurse. Yeah. Yeah. So, ang usual routine if you work long day is, um, after receiving the handover from the night nurse, of, um, you will now do your morning rounds and do your OBS. OBS observations here is parang vital signs yun. Blood pressure, ganyan. So, you have the... Uh, hindi kami dito yung manual uh, manual DP. We have the machine to na dinidigit sa pasyente so that we can get the vital signs of the patient. And then, after that medication rounds, we have the um, drug trolley with us na we put uh, in front of the patient's um, bay or yeah. And then, after noon, the doctors will also start doing their rounds at around 9 o'clock. So, 9 to 10, medyo busy na yan. Kasi, uh, ako, inaabot ako ng at least, basta ganyan, 8 to 9, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. I'm doing my rounds. Tapos, 10 o'clock, I'm checking the doctor's orders na. Kasi, most uh, most of my patients have been seen by the doctors already ng ganong oras. So, kung may mga gusto silang paggawa, ayun, doon ko palang magagawa. Like, ECG, kung may kailangan, kailangan ECG, or kung may kailangan kuha ng bloods, kanyan. Nurses here are allowed to get bloods of the patient. Wala, hindi, it's not like in the Philippines na we have the med techs who will do the blood. Well, we have the techs here who does that, but if 
just in case na kailangan kailangan na kasi and, and your tech and your technicians are busy as well and the doctors can't do it so yeah you might have to do it but you need training for that and uh, cannulation as well so sa amin, in my trust um hindi na ko uh, I was asked to give my IVT training, IVT card, sorry, IVT card, kahit expired pa yun, as a proof lang na nakapag-IVT um, lecture ako in the Philippines. And then, uh, I'll just, I just have to submit it and do some, like, um, sign, ano to? Kailangan lang ko i-sign off para maging, ma-allowed na akong makapag-cannulate and makapag-bloods, blood extractions to my patients. After that, uh, lunch is served at 12. So we have here the protected meal time, meaning um, we observe uh, yung patients. Ang tawag dito? Basta we observe na kailangan yung every patient is ma-assist sa kanilang pagkain. And bawal yung any disturbance or destruction sa mga ganong oras. And also, visiting hours happen at uh, happen at the, in the afternoon. So, hindi uso dito yung like in the Philippines na relatives, andyan na agad, natutulog kasama ng pasyente. No. Walang ganun dito. Bawal yun. Not bawal, pero wala kasing area para sa kanila matulog din. Uh, in the general wards, okay? So, after that, um, nakakain yung pasyente. Um, yun. It's the relatives visit naman and time para ikaw naman magpa, magpa-update sila sa'yo. How, would, uh, how is their patient? Sometimes they would just call on the phone kasi they are not able to come and visit the patient. So, imagine mo na busy ka ng morning tapos nangungunit yung relatives sa'yo na nagpa-update sa status ng pasyente. So, ganun siya. Here, toxic siya. Pero kasi you are, I think, I, though maliit kasi ang sahod nila, pag sabi nila, Pero kasi diba, since we are sending money here to Philippines, so medyo matakas na yung konti. So parang well compensated naman ng konti. Siguro, I'm not sure. Hindi ko na alam yung mga pinagsasabi ko pagdating sa ganyan. Anyway, going back. So, nag- ang nangyayari sa amin ngayon, since naging settled ka na and ganyan, we do OBS here or vital signs in my unit um, three times per shift. So, one in the morning, one in lunch time and then uh, after going up uh, after going home, before going home yeah before end of the shift and then now if you're working nights must super super benign ang work ang workload compared sa long day kasi uh, dito ako, sa akin medyo mas nakakahinga ako ng maluwag kapag working on nights ako kesa sa long day. Kasi, ang mga pasyente dito at around 8 or 9, nakahiga na yan sa bed nila preparing for their sleep. Ikaw na lang i-storm sa kanila para magbigay ng gamot for their 10 o'clock. Ganyan. And then, ayun, so papantayin mo lang sila. And then, observations, yung vital signs, three times mo rin siya kukunin uh, sa akin. Pero that depends on their news, uh, on their news scoring. If their news score is high, um, yun, kailangan ka mag-early ops and referral maybe or ano, syempre, kasi kailangan mong bantay mabuti yung pasyente so afternoon, ang ano na lang is hindi, hindi na transfer ng madaling araw to another wards, so admissions lang ang nangyayari sa amin at hinihintay namin sa night shift, and then yun, more, so parang nangyayari uh, from sa night shift no work no work is handover from the receiving handover from the dates day team and then uh, medications or and morning rounds and then you let the patient sleep go to sleep or tapos uh, morning medication rounds na naman ulit and then uwi na ganun yung parang mini 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 mini, mini superficial background ng work sa night and then, since mag-daylight saving na kasi, so mas iikli na yung oras ng gabi dito kaysa sa 
So, mas iikli na oras ng gabi. So, magiging one hour shorter na yung night. And then, masahaba na yung day. Parang nag adjust daw yung oras. Hindi ko masyadong gets. Basta ganun. So, kung papunta pa lang kayo dito, kailang, at nandito na kayo, kadating nyo lang, kailangan naka-auto adjust yung cellphone nyo or naka, naka-connect sa wifi para mag-adjust yung oras niya. Kasi kung hindi, malilate kayo sa work niya. Do you get me? If not, just search for daylight saving. <laughs> Kasi may encounter ko pa ng siya tomorrow. Sa Sunday 1am daw. Mamaya yun. And then, uh, ayun. So, yun yung pinaka-brief and superficial and somehow parang vague background ng paano ang working shifts dito sa UK. So, your shift can be, in a week, it can be like long day, long day, off, 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 night, yan, ganyan. Or night, night, eh, night, off, 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 long day. So, halo-halo siya. Pwede siyang ganun. So, pwede ka mag-request din ng shift sa manager mo or sa system kasi we do it in the system. And then, ayun, ah, uh, Siyempre, as per approval pa rin yan kung papayagan ka. And we do, the managers do the shift or the scheduling six weeks advance. So, kailangan i-plot mo ng maaga yung duty, yung request mo. Kung gusto mong ma-approve siya and ma- maayos sa schedule. You get paid once a month. Kasi diba, uh, in the Philippines, we get parang 15.30, 7.00 and here. We get paid once a month. So, medyo tipid-tipid ng konti. But then, you will do bank shifts naman eh. You can only do bank shifts once you pass the OSCE and have your NMC pin na. And it depends to your manager if he or she will allow you to do bank shifts. Kasi nga, diba, six months. Pero dahil they are um, understaffed, they need more manpower. So, ayun siya. And then, yeah. That's the whole thing vague summary and superficial of the shift things here in United Kingdom. If you have any more questions or gusto nyo pag-usapan natin or i-share ko sa inyo, just let me know. Bye! Thank you for watching the Charotera Girl doing the Charotera Talk and subscribe to my channel. Channel! <laughs>